Hi guys, Stefan here from Overdrive Music. Today I'm gonna teach you how to go from this. Damn me, lost my life, but I'm alive in this. Shit. Yeah, I swear so astonishing. It's so then crazy how my mind it keeps me winding this. It's so to this. Some blessed hit my phone, they asked me, did I learn my lesson? Yes, get right back to my checks. My homies that grew up in the struggles do what they had to do, they gotta hustle. I got the artist is a rapper from Melbourne called Haste. He's fast rapping in the verses and singing in the hooks. We're gonna break down how he recorded and processed his vocals. If you enjoy the video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Let's get to it. This song has just been released on Haste's album Confessions. The Spotify link is in the description below. First, let's play the final version. My homies that grew up in the struggles do what they had to do, they gotta hustle. I got family around me called muscle. There's boys that grew up in the area claiming they've been through shit for attention. I see through, no need to mention. This song is your intervention. Came from Dan, I'm proud of it. Ready, stand tall, ready to ground them. I get back on the fall, they call this gangster. I look now let's start with a vocal chain. First up, we use the Manly Labs tube cardioid microphone. And that's it there. Inside the actual mic, there's a tube. Halfway through the session, the tube actually died. So, as a replacement, we used the Neumann U87 microphone. I EQ'd it a little bit to sound like the Manly. Aim to stand about 20 centimeters away from the mic when recording. For rap vocals, the further away, the better. If you're too close like this, you're gonna get more of that chest voice and less detail in my opinion. So nice and natural when you're about 20 centimeters away. The preamp used to amplify the vocals is the 1073 from BAE Audio. It's a Neve 1073 replica. So the 10 o'clock position here is good for all round nice, natural, clean sounding vocals. In this situation, we wanted more of a dirty, more saturated, aggressive sound. So we cranked it up to 11. So more character. So following the 1073 from BAE, we have the 1176 compressor from Universal Audio. We're not compressing too much on the way in. We want it nice and clean, but we're using it mainly for tone and for character. Whenever recording vocals, I have the slowest attack possible and the fastest release possible. That way the compressor's not really doing much. The ratio is set to four to one, again, because we don't want it doing much. We want to have more control in the actual software itself. Usually I aim for about two to three dBs of gain reduction when recording, but seeing as we want to push the sound a little bit, we can have about five dB of gain reduction for this track. If you don't have any of this gear, it doesn't matter too much. You can still emulate a lot of this character uh, using plugins and you can also get a plug-in version of this. It's fine. As long as you're standing about 20 centimeters away, you're fine. And minimize echo in your room as well. Because a lot of the time people send me vocals and there's just so much echo from the walls bouncing back into the mic and you can hear it. And as soon as you start editing, that echo gets louder. So let's take a listen to the track inside of Reaper. I made it look like Pro Tools so you can easily follow. That's the vocal track here. We're sending this to this main lead bus here. So let's play the track. Here's just the raw vocal. My homies that grew up in the struggles do what they had to do, they gotta hustle. I got family around me called Muscle. These boys that grew up in the area claiming they've been through for attention. I see through, no need to mention. The song is so initially what I'm hearing is there's a bit too much bass going on in the vocals. Uh, Haste was standing a bit too close to the mic when we recorded it. So let's just fix that up now with some corrective EQ. So this is what we're reducing. It's too much of that chest voice. So that may interfere with the bass as well. So what we want to do, we don't want to completely get rid of it, but we just want to tame it a little bit. Uh, this is a, a dynamic EQ from Neutrum. You can use Fab Filter. Um, some stock EQs can, can do the same thing as well. Let's take a listen to that next cut. My homies that grew up in the struggles do what they had to do, they gotta hustle. I got family damage. Around about 500 hertz. A lot of energy in that area as well, which um, definitely needs to tame. And also some harsh frequencies I'm hearing. I'm just gonna clean that up too. This frequency here, 1.3k. It was just hurting my ears a bit too much. This frequency here, 2.4k. A bit too much of that area. This frequency here as well, 8k. Acting like a de -esser. So next up we have the C4 from Waves. General multi-band compressor going on. de a little bit in the top end. Taming some of that mid-range. Controlling some of that low-end mud. 
Get right back to my checks. My homies that grew up in the struggles do what they had to do. They gotta hustle. I got family around me called Muscle. There's boys that grew up in the area. So that's with it, and this is without it. The struggles do what they had to do. They gotta hustle. I got family around me called Muscle. There's boys that grew up in the area claiming they've been through for attention. I see through. It's just more controlled. It's still sounding quite natural, but it's more controlled now. Next is the C1 side chain. So again, removing some frequencies. I'm hearing another harsh frequency here. I got family around me called Muscle, there's boys that grew up in it. Another one, removing some of that low end frequency. Get right back to my checks. My homies that grew up in the struggles do what they had to do, they gotta hustle. I got family around me called Muscle. Again, a lot of build up in that sort of chest voice. Next up, Diessa from Waves. Crazy what I see when I look around. So much music getting dropped these days. Or repetitive, maybe they need to calm down. Pretty basic, you can use any Diessa. There's a free one out there from Air Windows. Stock DS is fine. No problem with that at all. So this is a free plugin called Kotelnikov uh, by TDR. You can download it now. What I'm doing, I'm using it in parallel. So it's compressing about 3 dB. That's the gain reduction. Can be doing it lyrically, godless, going mentally, balascals physically. It's crazy what I see. Blend 50-50. So you're hearing half compression, half natural voice. The attack is the main thing. The reason why we're using this is because we want a fairly fast attack. Uh, we want the compressor to grab onto the vocal fairly soon. So if he's singing a loud line, that's just going to kick in straight away. Going into the box, I didn't really want the attack fast. I still want to have control of it. So next up is the 1176 compressor from Waves. I want us to just push it a little bit harder, make it sound more aggressive. It's latching onto the compression more. It's about a medium attack. The release is latching on a little bit more, and this is going 12 to 1 ratio. Now remember before we went 4 to 1, we had a very slow attack because this was hardly doing anything on the way in. Now we have more control inside the actual software itself. I see through, no need to mention. This song is your intervention. Came from Dan, that I'm proud of it. Ready, stand tall, ready to ground them. I don't usually add tape to vocals, but this just sounded good. Kramer tape again, want more attitude from the vocals. Is it what I see when I look around? There is a free one by Air Windows to tape five. Fantastic, it does a similar job. I just like to look at the pictures, that's all. Next up in the chain is the Pooltech EQ from Waves. Just boosting a little bit of 100 hertz. Slight boost. Taking away some of the mud as well. So it's boosting and cutting, but this cut is above 100 hertz. It's really about 250 hertz. Another boost to eight kilohertz. So this is kilohertz here, and this is a boost here at eight kilohertz. I get back on the fall, they call this gangster rap, look at me doing that lyrically, got like going mentally, battle scars physically, it's crazy what I see when I look around, so much music. Last on the chain is the Puke Child by Waves, so it's a Fairchild emulation. This is acting basically as a limiter, so it's hardly doing any compression. This is just giving you character, and on the very, very loud peaks, it will sort of latch on. So I look at me doing that lyrically, got like going mentally, battle scars physically, it's crazy what I see when I look around, so much music getting dropped these days, or repetitive, maybe they need to calm down, give me a sedative, how many above? So there we go. Fairly natural sounding vocal, but very sort of flat. Um, nothing's hurting your ears as such. So when recording the second verse, uh, the tube inside this mic decided to die, and uh, you can hear it starting to crack. I'll play you what that sounds like. I'm manifested. Don't talk down to me, it's suggested. I'm gonna be here for a long time, I'm here to stay. So yeah, it started to crackle right there, and uh, you know that's a tube sound when you hear that. So what I did, we basically used the Neumann, um, now, two different mics in the same session. The difference between the Manly and the Neumann, this one I feel like has a bit more top end. Uh, so a little bit more S's and T's, but it's just that very silky smooth top end, um, which I wanted to replicate on this, basically. This I feel like has a bit more mid-range presence. Beautiful mic overall. But what I did is I basically added an EQ to replicate the Manly. You can't really tell the difference in the final mix. I'm just putting words on a page, but I guess I got so much rage, feel like I'm spiraling. All these so here's the U87 by itself in solo. I'm just putting words on a page, but I guess I got so much rage, feel like I'm spiraling. All these rappers are early retiring, came to the game with a vendetta, all that. Sounds good, nothing wrong with that. It's got a high pass on the actual mic, and that doesn't. So that's why we had to reduce a lot of the bass from here. This has a high pass, probably about 50 hertz, something like that. And it's already reduced a lot of this, you can see. What this had is quite a bit of a boost though. 
around about 200. So I want to give back a little bit of that boost. There was a harsh frequency here, and I wanted to replicate the top end that this has. So I've put a shelf up here, basically, doing this. So mainly all the S's are getting boosted. Uh, this range here, I just wanted a little bit more of that to go in. A bit of a cut here. That was just building up a bit too much. This over here is 4K, building up a bit too much again. A uh, very harsh frequency, it's sort of hurting my ears a little bit. And a uh, slight duck here as well, 500 hertz. A lot of energy in that sort of area there. So again, verse 2 is going to our lead bus up the top. These are both going to our lead bus. Now let's go to the raw, unprocessed hook vocals. No tuning at this stage. It's so astonishing. They hit my phone, they asked me, did I learn my lesson? Yes. It's sounding quite good, but what I want to do is tune it, make it sound perfect in pitch. So we'll bring up the waves tune. Now the key that we're in is C minor. How do I know this? Just pull out your keyboard, you can get a, a keyboard app on your phone, uh, C minor. The key we're in C, natural minor. Uh, we're definitely not major. Uh, we're not chromatic, because chromatic is every single little note. I like to have the tuning sound a bit natural, so around about here is good, the 100 sort of range. Ratio, sometimes I duck it to about 70. Sometimes it's on max. Speed, you want a fairly medium speed. So what you want to do is just let, let the plugin do its thing. I just want to see what this sounds like. So just join everything together. These little fluctuations, you can just glue them. Like that. Make it a bit quicker with the retune. This I feel could be tidied up a little bit. A bit tighter. That sounds quite good. Intro could be a bit tighter. Let's just tighten that up. The end could be a bit tighter, I can hear. And I think that'll that will do. I think I over, overdid it. So we're just gonna turn it down on the ratio. So this next part is the louder part. Uh, you're struggling to hit the note a little bit. So auto tune is just going to fix that. You can see it's going slightly above pitch here, slightly below. You see that yellow line there? Slightly below pitch. So this is without. They hit my phone, they asked me, did I learn my lesson? Which is fine, I decided to keep it in the actual recording because I knew we could get away with it later and it would sound nice. This is with it, so all I've done is just tightened the uh, note transition a little bit. They hit my phone, they asked me, did I learn my lesson? Yes! That yes is a little bit flat, so we're just going to select it. Make it a little bit tighter with the transition and that should fix it. They hit my phone, they asked me, did I learn my lesson? Yes. Still not hitting the way I want. Yes. 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 So once I've got that sound, what I do is just select it in Reaper, right click it, and go apply. And that will basically apply that to that take. Damn me, lost my life, but I'm alive in this. Yeah, I swear it's so astonishing. It's so then crazy how my mind it keeps rewinding and sh Now let's add some reverb to the vocal, make it sound big. So what we're gonna do is send a vocal to a bus. What I'm using is H reverb from Waves. 
This is what it sounds like by itself. It's so There's a lot of that sort of wish-wash sound with the S's just going all over the place. So what I'm going to do is just add a de in there, and that's just going to tame the S's before it goes into the reverb. It's so Sounds like he doesn't have a tongue, but it doesn't matter. You're not really going to hear that in the overall song anyway. So let's play that with the vocal itself. It's so astonishing. They hit my phone, they asked me, did I learn my lesson? Obviously, it's too loud in the track, but just for demonstration purposes. The next thing is a decapitator, so I would just wanted to give a little bit of saturation to the vocal, thicken it up a little bit. And this is what that's sounding like. It's so And this is without. It's not doing much, but I just wanted to thicken it up a bit. Next in line is a sidechain compressor. So we want to duck the reverb when the vocal is actually playing. And when the vocal stops, we want the reverb to sort of open up. We don't want the reverb to step on the vocal itself. So this is what it sounds like with the sidechain on. You can hear it sort of ducking, and you can see what it's doing as well. That just cleans things up a bit. The next thing, again, we're cleaning things up, so we're just cutting some of that low end and cutting some of that top end as well. So again, we don't want that wish-wash sound all over the place, and we want to tighten up the low end. We don't want this part to compete with our kick drum, our bass, etc. In the mix, the reverb sounds like this. It's so astonishing. They hit my phone, they asked me, did I learn my lesson? Yes. The next send is the delay. I've chosen to use Echo Boy because it's a nice stereo delay. We've got the studio tape style. We're cutting some of the low end, cutting some of that treble high end, and it's set to quarter note delay. And this is what it sounds like by itself. It's so astonishing. Before that, again, we've got a Diesa, and it's doing quite a lot. Just cutting out all those S's because without it, it's so astonishing. I didn't want any of that in it. So that helps a lot with the delay by itself and with the reverb. It's so astonishing. The next send we have is just for the verses, it's for the fast rap. It's a Waves H delay. And that's the plug in there. So it's just a mono delay. Again, it's cutting some highs, cutting some lows, set to quarter note. And this is what it sounds like by itself. Now you notice how the echoes are sort of stepping on top of each other. First of all, we want to clean it up a little bit. So we're just using a 3 DSer from Air Windows. That's going to the delay. This is our magic right here. It's a, a sidechain compressor again. So when the vocal is singing, that delay is just going to duck. So you're letting the vocal come through a bit more. For attention, I see through, no need to mention. The song is your invention. Came from Dan, that I'm proud of it. Ready, stand tall, ready to ground them. I get back. So when the vocal stops round about here, you can really hear the echo come through. Proud of it, ready, stand tall, ready to ground them. I get back. That's the benefit of using a sidechain. After the sidechain, we've just got an EQ. Again, just cutting some lows and taming the high end. In the mix, it sounds like this. I'm proud of it, ready, stand tall, ready to ground them. I get back on the fall, they call this gangster. I look at me doing that lyrically, got that shit going mentally. Battle scars physically, it's crazy what I see when I look around. So much music getting dropped these days. Or repetitive, maybe they calm down. So that's it for the vocal processing. Key things to take away you want to stand about 20 centimeters away from the mic. That's just to reduce the bass buildup. Going into the preamps and the converters, you want fairly natural sound, so not too much compression and a fairly clean sound from the actual preamp itself. When you're EQing and compressing, you don't want to completely squash the vocals. You still want a fairly natural sound. You just want to tame all the harsh frequencies with the EQ so the vocal can shine and so the listener won't switch off if it gets too harsh on their ears. If you want your track mixed by me, hit me up and we'll get to work. 
I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, please smash the like button, and I'll see you in the next one.